All right, I almost forgot to make this video. This is how to put Betaflight back onto your Tiny Hawk. So let's say you're flying Flight One, and you're like, "Yeah, that was fun, but I want to put my, I want to put Betaflight and the stock settings back on." So just go ahead and connect to your Tiny Hawk in Flight One. What I did first here is I go to the console again. I type dump. You never know. Maybe you want to turn, put it back, and this will save you a lot of steps. So highlight everything copy it and then go to a text editor like notepad and paste it in here so this way I've got my flight one tiny hawk settings and my tiny hawk beta flight settings so what we'll do here is go update firmware and what we're going to do is put this into DFU mode so click this button and it should go here now don't disconnect your Tiny Hawk. Leave it connected. Close Flight 1 and open Beta Flight. And see it's in DFU mode? That's perfect. We're going to go to Firmware Flasher. We're going to go to Releases, Matic 411, and that's the most recent. I'm going to hit Load Firmware Online, and then Flash Firmware. Click here, connect. There's your Tiny Hawk. It's back in beta flight. Now go to COI. Because if you were smart and follow the directions in my first video, you copied all the stock settings. So go back to wherever you copy those, your text editor, hit copy. Go back to beta flight, hit paste, enter. There you go. Now it's got all the settings that come stock. You can see the ports are all set up. My Smart Audio, my UART, and everything's set here. Your modes, set however they were when you saved it. Your OSD should be the same. Beautiful. And that's it. That's all you got to do to flash it into back to Betaflight.